Hey trader friends, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. A real common question that I get is about price manipulation with pocket options. There's lots on the internet where people are writing about pocket option manipulating prices. One person even writing about pocket option creating a price manipulating engine. I wanna really look at that. And we're gonna look at 18 trades that I took in one day. And we're gonna see what kind of manipulation may have been happening, may not have been happening, and really look at that pretty deeply. Definitely two of those trades you're really really gonna want to watch because they're kind of doozies and then at the end of this video I'm going to tell you something that you can do it's very simple very practical so that you actually don't become the victim of a price manipulating engine so let's get right into it and see what we see okay so my first trade here is a call on the Aussie Frank you can see it came down to that resistance that I have marked down on that, uh, excuse me, it comes down to that support that I have marked out on the chart. And it's moving up here pretty nicely, pretty happy with this so far. And it looks like it's been a nice clear win. And, oh, and then we get this drop and the very last second we get a loss here. Uh, I put on another trade. Now let me just pause that for a moment. This last second loss, I mean, that trade was looking really, really good. And then I get this last second loss. Uh, what do we gotta do there? Like what's going on here? Could that be manipulation? One of the things you wanna do is see how the price is on other charting platforms. You can see the price began to move down there on MetaTrader as well. So it doesn't really look like that was market manipulation and kind of price manipulation that was there to ultimately get me to lose. Uh, as you know, as you can see here, I have increased my trade size here on the second entry and it is uh, definitely a good place that if they're going to do price manipulation price um, changes to get me to lose it, they really would have been a good job to have done it then when i would have lost more money here i'm now on the aussie franc price begins to move down very nicely i'm quite happy with this this is a good good move very very orderly definitely the way that i would expect oh and then we start getting a little shot up there oh all the way up to my strike price and then out of the money like what the heck and i end up tying that oh like what the heck like is that normal is that real well you look at here metatrader that i have here yep that's also what the broader market did pocket option didn't cause that to happen they weren't looking at my trade saying oh jason is in this we need to make sure he loses so i ended up tying take the exact same trade again same trade size and lost that one i enter uh, accidentally a little bit too much of a uh, too much of a trade here on my next one Okay, whatever, that's the way that happens. Hopefully I'll win this and I uh, can then move on to my next trade. And I do win that very, very nicely. Then I go back to my original trade size here in the Euro franc and I enter into a call. Price starts to move against me. I'm watching how it's moving down and it's going down very quickly to that next level. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to put in another entry here because it's already at that next level. That first entry I could have just let go. I didn't need to place that first entry, but I wanted to give it a shot, see what it was going to do. And, uh, and it just did not work out in my favor. So I put that next entry on and here I am out of the money, lose that one. I still like the trade, I like the level. So I put on an immediate third entry here to see what happens and the price starts moving even further against me and I'm like oh my goodness what do I do do I just stop here do I put on a fourth trade I actually decided to put on a fourth entry I don't do that very much I don't know this maybe happens once a month or so but it is also the summertime so I'm like okay summertime a lot of trades can take a little bit longer to develop but this thing starts moving against me as well I'm like oh crud see it coming down to a very very good level this is something I maybe do once maybe twice a year I actually do put on a fifth entry look at that you can say 60% of my account I really really like this level and I want to tell you if pocket option were into actually manipulating the price this would be the one for them to manipulate the price on that would have been the one for them to cause me to lose because look I made $2,400 on that puts me nicely back in profit that would have been the one that they should have manipulated the price on but they didn't they actually you know it, it won why because that that's what the bigger market was doing here. There wasn't any manipulation. And if that, if they are manipulating things, their price manipulating engine definitely screwed up there. And oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that guys? I'm going to go back there a little bit. Watch this. 
Watch this. I'm losing. I'm losing. Now it's tied, tied, tied. And in the last second, a huge move up. A huge move up. I'm going to go back here to full screen for a moment. Guys, this is the type of stuff that everyone says, I lost in the last second. How could I have possibly lost in the last second? Pocket option is manipulating everything. Had you ended up losing that trade, I guarantee you that's what everyone in the world would have been saying. They're manipulating, they're manipulating, they're manipulating. But look, it was a last second move that moved in my favor. It's kind of crazy what people do that when there's a last second move that moves in your favor, like, wow, oh, cool, yeah, awesome, I got lucky, great, great, or whoa, cool, look at that, I'm such an awesome trader, wow, I'm so good. But it's a last second move that moves against you. Brokers are manipulating everything, market makers are bad, everybody's just trying to out, is just out to destroy my account. They figured out what my strategy is and now they're working against me. Guys, I've been trading this strategy for a long, long, long time and it still works. It's still profitable because it's based on high quality trading principles, the way the market actually moves. It's not based on a little idiosyncrasy. It just works and nobody has figured it out and working against me. Look at that. It moved last second in my favor there. You know, like that happens so often. You get yourself a good strategy. You're going to get those kinds of moves that move last second in your favor because of what happens because people start flooding orders into that spot. And that's what causes these moves. What you're doing is you're choosing crap strategies that you find on YouTube somewhere. And I know I'm on YouTube, I get it, but you find crap strategies and then it goes last minute against you because the actual people actually trading the market are doing something completely different. So the orders get flooded in and it goes completely against you last second. So don't like, just don't go there, okay? Just, 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 just don't go there. All right, great. Let's 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 jump in and keep on going here. All right, so we're in this dollar cad. Got that beautiful win there. Okay, so moving forward here, uh, we're in a euro cad. Got a euro cad put going on here, and uh, let's just see what happens here. Now, my starting balance was $2,683. Oh, I said it was a put. I meant in call. Uh, $2,683. So we're a bit in profit here. Um, that first entry, clear loss there. Second entry, definitely moving in my favor. Pretty happy about this. And what I don't understand is that if this, if this price manipulating engine was going to be at work, well, why is it not working when I'm putting in these larger trades? It just doesn't make sense. So here I am, EuroCAD in a call here. Because it's summertime, I waited for a little little bit more confirmation here and I'm not really been quite happy with how how nicely the levels have been being respected so I waited a little bit longer just to get a bit more confirmation and this uh, this is moving nicely into a good win there all right so here we are now at the euro cad put a put on here taking a little while for it to develop into what I would like it moves down and then oh now we are back up out of the money back in the money definitely dancing around this strike price a little more than what I generally like out of the money here is totally dancing around here clearly that is did you guys see that did you guys see that look at that look at that there's clearly market manipulation right I mean I was losing and losing and losing and then in the very last second whoops 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 in the very last second, what does it do? Let's just watch that again. Okay, I'm losing back and forth. Uh, I'm out of the money, in the money. Oh, last second, in the money, right? That was market manipulation, right? That was price manipulation to get me to win last second, right? Guys, like it doesn't make any sense. Like I'm getting all these last second wins. And again, once again, guys, you got to realize this is that if everything moves in your favor, you're like, oh, cool, I got lucky. Oh, wow, I'm such an awesome trader. But it moves against you and start blaming someone else. Like just don't go there. Just don't go there. Be responsible for your own trading results. And a whole lot of awesomeness begins to happen. I promise you that. Okay, so we're just going to keep on moving here. And also, you want to make sure that you do protect yourself against market manipulation, just in case that is happening. And I'm going to, of course, show you how to do that in a few moments, once we just get through these trades, which we're almost done here. This is just turning out to be a really, really nice trading day. Lots and lots of trades. Nice win there. Like I said, right around $2,600. $2,683 was my starting balance. And so, um, yeah, just moving through so some nice profits. All right, we're down. 
a little bit euro cad we put on a first entry put on a second entry first entry is definitely in a place of losing let's see what it does here and oh it started moving up but no i'm not not gonna get there oh oh nope lost that lost that last second it was going in my direction they clearly manipulated it so that i don't get that win and then that second entry does in fact win and so we can see here now that that ended up with thirty five hundred dollars there at the end really really nice ultimately ended up with a nice profit at end of the day with eight hundred and thirteen dollars profit so that was really pretty nice and like i said started with twenty six hundred so you can do the math there on what that ultimately is in profit i think in these trading sessions i think it was like right around 28 percent something like that so i'm pretty happy with that now here's the thing is that maybe you are concerned with price manipulation engine here's how you can actually ensure that you are not victim to that we do not use the pocket option charts like there's no reason to use the pocket option charts if they are manipulating things and you're only using the pocket option charts you can't do anything about it you have no idea if it's being manipulated or not you just have to take that charts word for it so we always have a free software whether it's metatrader or trading view or something like that we use a free charting software where we can see third party data feed now the thing to keep in mind is that forex data is always going Going to be slightly different it's never going to be exactly the same like you go into the airport and you want to exchange your money at one little kiosk there the price for the exchange rate is going to be different than you go to a different kiosk they're never the same that's just normal amongst currency it's not like if you choose like apple stock you buy it at this broker you buy it at that broker you buy it at that broker it's all going to be the same apple stock is uh, and stocks and futures those are those prices are regulated by a central centralized regulating agency that's not the case with currency so it's always going to be different so we use a separate software to where we can see what the price is doing from a third-party data provider and see if it is remotely close to what pocket option is showing i virtually never see a significant enough discrepancy to be concerned i have in the past and when i do see that which i haven't seen it in probably two years but when I do see that, I'm just like, all right, great. I'm just not going to trade that pair for a moment until that discrepancy goes away. And then all of a sudden, everything's good. Okay. So these are the types of things that we talk about in the trading room. This is the, these are the types of things that go on in our training where we teach you how to approach this type of trading, binary options trading from a, from a, a, a risk perspective, from an institutional trader perspective, because that's what my background is, and teach you how to deal with all of these elements of risk so you can approach it like a professional, so you can actually start making consistent consistent profits and not constantly blame someone else for everything, but how to protect yourself and how to actually be good in trading to make consistent, reliable, and predictable profits. So definitely join us in the trading room. There are links down below to be able to get in there. Send us an email. We'll make sure that we get you all of your questions answered. And then join us in the trading room. Like, what the heck are you waiting on? Just get in there, have fun, make money with us, and let's do well. All right. See you in the next video and see you in the trading room.